right guys welcome back to the channel real quick i want to talk to you about this guy right here and that is the solo scout from out on a limb manufacturing now let me preface this uh, video by letting you know my motive or the reason why i decided to purchase this stand back in july so i gained access this year to about a thousand to twelve hundred acres of farmland that has very little woods and a lot of fields but the woods that it does have are draws and little pockets of timber that hold deer and so in my mind i wanted to be able to take the lightest platform with me into those wood lots and climb up a tree hang and hunt for an hour two hours max three hours and so i wanted something that was lightweight that was durable strong but also very packable and so that's why i landed with this guy right here as you can see uh, packability <laughs> uh, very very easy for this platform and so that is the motive and that is that was my goal when I bought this so uh, a few of the specifications that I did like was the anti-skid coating that comes on this platform super good this is this is built if you get one of these in your hands you'll see that the qualities there super sturdy it already has an angle that's built into it to mimic the angle of you know you leaning back off the tree to maximize foot comfort and also again it is super lightweight it's one of the lightest platforms available it comes in it's advertised for 24 ounces it came in at 1.91 uh, pounds with the buckle and so that's a few of the specifications for this little guy right here now the pros the biggest pro that I liked about this was how well that it, it bit to the tree. When you can this baby over and you do it properly, uh, it's not going nowhere. You, you, can, you can kick off. I'm not gonna saddle up in this video and show you me kicking off and all that, just trust me. And also, I'd recommend you going over to Aerial Assault and check out his review on this platform. And uh, again, when this thing's cammed on, I'll show you how to cam it on here in just a moment. But, but when it's on, it's on. And so you feel very, very sturdy when you're hanging. Uh, up in the tree and also if you want to kind of take a, a shot around the tree a little bit or something you're able to kick off both the side and the back and it's not going nowhere so again how well it bites to the tree the weight is absolutely perfect and and uh, overall the experience for my expectations one to three hour hunt were very positive in this tree stand so when you go to put this on the tree it's pretty simple you'll notice that on each side of the stand there are these two little cleats right there and on the strap basically a loop self-explanatory wrap the strap around the tree hook it to the, the little cleat there hook it over the cleat pull your little your little band down over it and then there's it's attached to the tree from here all you have to do I like make sure my my band is straight pull your your uh, your strap tight. Uh, sometimes if you pull it, it'll actually invert it a little bit more. That's not always bad, but pull it tight and then just lift it up and cam it over like that. And so once that thing's cammed over, it's not going anywhere. You can, you can push off any angle on the tree, crank on it, and it's gonna stay there. And so again, it attaches to the tree, locks onto the tree, uh, very very well and so I was I was pretty impressed with that so let's talk the cons now I found these cons unintentionally my plans for this platform was a one to three hour max hunt and both of the times that I hunted out of this platform I hunted four to four and a half hours and so uh, I found these unintentionally but a couple things that stood out to me uh, after about that three hour mark, as I kept going closer to four hours, I noticed that my foot comfort changed drastically. I kept fidgeting or changing my foot position to help with uh, the pressure and the soreness. Sometimes I'd put all the pressure on one leg and then switch it to the other leg. And of course, I tri attribute that to the four, you know, the four inch depth of, of this, this platform. You have to continually shift your 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 foot back and forth i'm a size 10 and that's what i found that the foot comfort decreased after that three hour going up to the four hour and again that's just for me i'm just trying to give my honest review to people to maybe help them out but the second thing i notice and again it's no it's no fault of the platform it's manufactured 
and advertise with an angle in it, but I did not realize how much I like the option to be able to stand up vertically, especially if I'm taking my weak side shot, where if a deer's coming there, I can just put my arm under the tether, turn around, and take that shot. And so uh, after that, that three hour, four hour mark, the option to just be able to stand up vertically where you're not constantly leaning back, that was something that I know I missed. Again, found both of these unintentionally, but if you're looking at this platform for something that would be, you know, a six all day, a six hour to all day hunt, those are some things you might want to consider. And of course, you're going to have to just get it and try it out unless you go with one of out on a limb manufacturing's other offerings, the podium and things of that, that nature, the Ridge Runner. Uh, those offer a little bit more real estate for your feet to sit on. And so these are just my thoughts. I hope they help you out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll do everything I can to answer those. And uh, also, good luck to you guys this deer season.